mentioned you're looking more from the family office perspective of course but um, what's kind of your um, feeling for the next uh, months probably um, for the equity market just just give me a number where the ducks is well um, I have no clue to be uh, my crystal ball sorry now the, the question really is uh, how people are positioned uh, the latest things I saw is that you have a massive amount of retail money coming into the market I think we have to wait what's going on on the on the uh, economic side and uh, we are we're having which we all didn't experience yet i mean if if we would have been here together six months ago and we would have been talking about uh, 40 million uh, first timers not not working in the u.s or so many people around the world being jobless i mean it's a high deflationary impact we have here and uh, i'm not sure this uh, this game is already in the end so i i would stick to the to the cautionary side um, and stick to business models which are uh, there and but to keep also some cash um, and and don't bet the farm we would say neutral um, as i said before yes um i think a lot of a lot of these positive factors like um help from the help from the government from, from the central bank are already in. that's okay um but um for us mark a little bit too expensive uh, right now to, to go into an COVID decision um, but I think, um, yeah, government and, and uh, several banks will help and uh, the job wasn't that bad in the last week and months. Well, Michel, we've got two cautious investors already. What's your What's your opinion on the next uh, next month? Would you say maybe it's a good um, good time or good um, market environment to uh, kind of build the equity portfolio for the next uh, next months? Because it would be, um, especially with a focus on growth, very positive on this um, this sector. Good one month, a very short time frame. I think uh, it's quite difficult to predict this. What I can say is um, we're going to have still higher volatility in, than last year and depends on if you're going to see the second wave of corona infection especially in the western countries which managed quite well uh, to to bend the curve and the second one is uh, the whole trade war thing with uh, trump and china so coming coming closer to the u.s elections in november trump is going to be uh, more and more motivated to scapegoat the Chinese for everything that went wrong in the US. And you'll see on his uh, press conference today, I think it is, um, how he's gonna tackle uh, the, the Chinese opponents again. And that's what's gonna, um, defi going, to, going to define the, the short term on the, also on the equity markets. And if you have still some cash, I think um, it would be good time to send it to work during these times of of uh, turmoil because at the, at the end the market is looking through the year of 2020 focusing on the recovery of 2021 we still think it's gonna to come in the next one or two years that we're gonna see higher growth rates again in the uh, uh, economies worldwide so it doesn't make sense to hide in the trenches and you send your money to work and uh, I still can give you any tax protections for the next month or at the end of the year. I think besides the markets going up or down, uh, Mark, how in, or how central or essential is it to be uh, kind of to select the right stocks and of course uh, have the right, uh, as you already mentioned, um, sector allocation? Well, that's uh, definitely uh, the key for at least for our, um, for our approach to really go to the right sectors as well as to pay uh, very high attention to the selection of the stocks. And um, we have to take into account um, that there are so many money flowing into the market through the central bank policies as well as um, all the measures which were taken um, to, to, um, to keep the markets buoyant. And we also shouldn't under expect or, or underestimate um, the power of flows into the equ equity market, especially with these um, tight uh, yield values we see in the fixed income um, universe. And uh, all put together, I think there is a good, a decent chance for the equity markets to stay at least buoyant 
um, but uh, there is a shoppy road ahead for sure, a very shoppy road. And there are so many Damocles swords um, hanging around like the US and Chinese uh, trade tensions, which still are not uh, solved. You should have uh, money back in your, um, uh, in your purse to, to, to stay in, in the possibility to invest the money uh, if chances arise and there will chances arise for sure. And Rush, uh, your final words, your portfolio is, um, as you already mentioned, very concentrated. So it's a high focused um, portfolio. So it's vital for you to pick the right stocks. Um, maybe what's your outlook for, for your portfolio and um, how would you say um, the, you will position your portfolio through this uh, Corona crisis? The portfolio is diversified within the growth space. So we try and get different kinds of innovators into the portfolio. And so for us, um, all the predictions of what the markets as a whole will do or what earnings for the market as a whole will do for the, this year uh, is clearly irrelevant anyway for the market. But it's, it's almost impossible to say for 2021. Uh, what we can say is that we are finding great opportunities, companies that were doing well already for whom the growth rate is actually accelerating and the structural growth opportunity is increasing. So we can be quite confident, we think, in the earnings medium term for our companies that we're finding. Uh, and we just don't know how investors really try and make sense of so many conflicting pressures on the economic cycle. If you're depending on the economic cycle to drive a company's earnings growth. And so, you know, I would say, I suppose I would say this because I, I've done 30 years in the equity markets, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have this... Uh, which is that you know holding cash when the policymakers are saying you know they want zero interest rates on cash or negative interest rates on cash around the world when supply chains are disrupted there is clearly more inflation risk around the world you know it, it seems to me like a very brave thing to do to hold a significant amount of cash you know when you look at the fangs and technology and the secular growers it's important to separate out those that are slightly more mature, that face more regulatory risk, like the social media companies, from those that are really at the beginning of a growth journey, where the next five years of great growth should come from. Mm -hmm.